This is the first Friday night in months. Bars and restaurants in the city of Milwaukee can open at full capacity. They must have a safety plan, though, that's been approved by the city. New at 10, Stephanie Haynes talked with a business owner about the struggle many still face to keep their doors open. The pandemic has forced restaurants to either adapt or close. Now 10 months in, many of them are still begging for help. For nearly 16 years, Club Timbuktu has been a staple in the River West community. It's more than a nightclub. Owner Yusef Kamara offers a forum of music, food and culture from African, Jamaican and Caribbean origins. We picked the name Timbuktu because that was the first university in Africa. Since the pandemic, Yusuf has been able to host some small gatherings, and he said the community has fundraised $2,000 so he could help pay heat bills. He said he's had to lay off three employees and run the whole bar himself. At any point, were you afraid that you wouldn't make it? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of worried. I'm still worried. Newly released data from the U.S. Labor Department shows close to half a million leisure and hospitality jobs were lost in December alone. At least 372,000 of those were jobs in bars and restaurants. The National Restaurant Association reported in December more than 110,000 restaurants across the country have closed since March. The Independent Restaurant Coalition writes, quote, Independent restaurants and bars need help and we need it now. The organization is advocating for lawmakers to pass the Restaurants Act, a $120 billion relief plan. So far, President-elect Joe Biden has indicated he wants to help restaurants directly. For Yusuf, any help like that can't come soon enough. I hope so. I hope so. I think I'm not alone. A lot of, a lot of business owners are hoping, you know, we are small business. You know, we are just uh, kind of minority business. We hope that will make a difference. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.